Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we'll talk about bioethics. So let's get started. So we'll talk about these four topics, starting with an overview of bioethics. Moving on, we'll talk about the modern context of bioethics. With that, we'll talk about the medicines in the changing world. And then we'll talk about the codes to regulation to laws. So with that, so talking about this picture, as you can see here, so whether ethics at their legal moral overlap so are all these terms same so what do you think so just comment down below so i'll discuss about all of these stuff whether legal ethical or moral all of these terms are same or not so moving with that so what is bioethics so bioethics literally the ethics of life so bioethics is pretty much the same as we know as the term ethics so as we know ethics are something which are pretty much different from legal what we call is legality so what we call as laws which are meant for a country or for a nation or for a state so bioethics are something which is different from a law or you can say model so the concern in this course is the practice of medicine and biomedical sciences also ethics pertaining to the practice of medicine have a very long history and are ancient which starts from india greece china and many other countries also modern ethics sees medicines and its practices in a context of modern life so there is a difference between the ancient ethics and the modern bioethics so it sees uh, it's uh, it has a viewpoint in the context of modern life So it appears as a complex phenomena. So overall, it's a very complex phenomena to be very true So moving with that so the ethical principles are aspirational goals So the universal principles such as patient autonomy We have non malefiance we have benefits and we have justice so these are some of the universal principles so this uh, first of all which is the patient autonomy which is the freedom of choice then we have non malefiance which is do not cause harm then we have beneficiations which is do good and lastly we have justice which is fairness and equality then lastly we have a statement here is principles can overlap as well as compete with each other for priority so depending on the priority and depending on the importance these principles might be somewhat the same depending on the situation so talk about the modern context of bioethics so medicine is a part of complex life world also medicine is a business with profit concern so definitely medicine industry is a huge industry and definitely it will look out for making profits which is its one of its concerns as well so definitely there is nothing wrong in it so people who with the businesses concerning with medical field definitely will look out for profits other than treating people and uh, helping out people with the medicines they will definitely look to earn some money as well also next we have is the medicalization which is the situation where how common emotion and traits are turned into treatable conditions all right so this is a very important term medicalization which is how common emotions and traits are turned into treatable conditions then we have overuse and reliance on technology so which is a very much very big concern in today's world so as technology is increasing day by day and our reliance on technology is increasing day by day so we are somewhat tending to overuse it or misuse it in some way which is harming us so more with that we talk about some more modern context of bioethics which is redefining the role of physicians and other healthcare professionals as well as patients so we are redefining roles or reassigning roles of physicians and other healthcare professionals as well as patients we have professional autonomy which is different spheres of modern life we have fragmentation of modern life we have rights of patients as well so everyone has equal rights as we know and their rights differ according to their profession so talking about the medicines in the changing world so medicine as science and industry we have globalization of healthcare 
we have technolo uh, technolization of healthcare, we have increasing need for research, we have role of governments, we have accessibility and affordability of healthcare, we have healthcare and question of justice. So the medicines just not mean drugs which people use for treating a certain kind of disease. Medicines in general we mean what it helps a common people other than diseases. All right, so medicines are science and industry, which is a boom for the entire world. We have globalization of healthcare, so the medicine industry or the medical industry is over is present all over the world, leaving no country behind. We have increasing need for research as day by day the research industry is also increasing, and there is discovery of new drugs as we are move as we are moving forward. We have role of the governments role as governments are increasing their funds or the budgets for the medical industry so that more funds and money is invested in this particular industry so that a proper research can be done and thereby we can treat more diseases which are untreatable today. Also accessibility and affordability of healthcare, so which is very important because every person should have the accessibility and affordability of healthcare because as we know, uh, no people and as such are, is present on earth which is supposed to be or which is not treatable or which is someone who can be uh, diagnosed with some sort of disease should be accessible to some form of healthcare. And should be affordable as well so basically yeah there should no there should be no people in this world who should be deprived of this particular accessibility of healthcare also we have healthcare and question of justice so th there are people in rural areas who cannot afford this much or this service of healthcare so this particular point comes into place where prices for them or somewhat accessibility could be increased by helping them by providing them free medicines so the question of justice arises here so with that we move to the next topic which is the changing world and the change in values also changes in the world and changes in the medicines have implications on values also technologies make possible many things which were unthinkable earlier also roles redefined we have patients physicians family members we have religious and traditional values are challenged so this changing world and the changes values is occurring as we move forward so a decade before the world we the point of view the point of view we used to see the entire locality or this entire society was pretty different and the values we have today was pretty much different 10 years before so there is a different in my uh, difference in mindset that we have incorporated over the change in period of time so with that we talk about the change the changing world and the change in values versus the some other forms of it so we have introduces new model dilemmas like selected reproduction or sex selection or family sex balancing we have ideas of family we have do couple from same sex marriages constitute a family are surrogate mothers part of families so these are many questions that arise that have uh, that have stood up in the time period that we have that has passed on so some of the questions that have arrived on the physicians duty to save life is physicians assisted suicide or physicians participation in torture or disclosure of medical errors so physician patient relationship is also exposed or also shed some light and talked about in recent times so this is a huge change in attitude of people and understanding of people in their mindset how they see things so this is this uh, you can see the change in characteristics of people as well so talking about the last part of this video which is the from codes to regulations to laws also the ethical codes of physicians emphasizing responsibilities of the physicians 
also most self regulating in nature so as we know we are self regulating in our nature only so we tend to change we do not re remain the same over a period of time we tend to adapt to new changes all right so we have the next point which is oath fails to incorporate many new ideals that are held dear to medical practices such as societal or legal responsibilities research ethics and accountability in collaborative patient care models so an oath so the oath which is made uh, many years before which might fail or which might fail to fulfill some of the understandings or some of the rules that are defined or made by today so the oath which is made very a long time back does not contain all of the stuff which is regulated or which is transformed or which is modified as per our need as of now also more emphasis on rights than on duties so rights are more uh, stressed on than on duties the context of research and technology interface so this particular thing has increased drastically as we move on also the politics of medicine and power so this has definitely been a concerning matter so the politics of medicine and power has also so the higher authorities so the politicians and big peoples or rich peoples uh, who hold or who own certain authority at higher place are given priority to these services to these healthcare services than the normal people or the rural people who are not who don't have the accessibility or affordability to these healthcare facilities so let's just keep this video till here hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching